as your favorite place to buy hardware and building supplies. Stop by Harris Ace Hardware and check out their weekly deals. Sign up for Ace Rewards and start earning points toward coupons and rewards. You'll even receive a $5 coupon just for signing up. Harris Ace Hardware in Jessup, Hinesville, Yolonia, and now in Brunswick. They are ready to serve your everyday building and hardware needs. Harris Ace Hardware. It's time now for local Ace and local sports and sports plans. Still in the works for Major League Baseball to begin playing in early July, but on Tuesday, a lengthy hour-long meeting or several-hour-long meeting between MLB and the Players Association addressing some complex issues but did not discuss any money on Tuesday, which was ironic. The good bulk of the meeting revolved around the COVID-19 virus testing protocols, including contact tracing and response procedures in case a positive case comes up. More meetings are planned, but the plan is to begin on July 2nd, play about 80 games. Teams will only play teams in their division. No fans will be in the stands. That's a concern, though, as baseball commissioner Rob Manfred says that about 40% of all Major League Baseball revenue is tied to the gate, including concessions, parking, ballpark advertising, luxury suites, and programs. Fearful of the loss of revenue, owners approved a plan on Monday that would pay salaries, play payers, pay players a percent of their 2020 salaries based on a 50-50 split between players and owners of revenue from the regular season and postseason. Union views this concept as a salary cap, which it says they would never agree to. Ever again, no discussion about money came up during the several-hour long meeting on Tuesday. They state negotiations between the Major League Baseball and the Players Association could take several weeks. Five-star running back Zachary Evans has finally reached a decision on where he's going to play his college football as he commits this week to TCU, 2020 recruit ranked 16th overall in his class, originally committed to Georgia. He's from North Texas Shore High School in Texas. He's released from his letter of intent to Georgia, allegedly caused of discipline reasons. He's 5'11", 200 pounds, can fly. He rushed for 1,600 yards his senior year in high school. Also had offers from Tennessee, Texas A&M, Ole Miss, Alabama, Florida, LSU, Texas, all interested in the running back. Evans was suspended three games during his senior year, but he's a very talented player, as displayed in the Under Armour All-American game in January, where he, was, where he was named the most valuable player, and Zachary Evans had to play for the Horned Frogs of TCU. Hopefully a football season will be here shortly in Wayne County, hoping to have a football season as they head into a new region with Coffee, Warner Robinson veterans, the AJC getting people excited with their preseason polls already out. They have a high opinion of the Wayne County Yellow Jacket football program as the AJC released a preseason top 10 as Wayne County ranked fourth in the state poll. Warner Robins comes in ranked number one in 5A, followed by Clark Central, the team that knocked us out of the state playoffs last year. Melissa Trinity comes in at number three. Then it's Wayne County in at number four. The write-up in the AJC says the Jackets are stacked on both sides of the ball. Look forward to the return of four-star lineman Weston Franklin. Quarterback Trey Pierce is ready to open up some eyes with his speed and quickness. And Franklin returns for his senior year as he receives a lot of offers already from major colleges, most likely to make a decision before this season begins. Other teams in the top ten by the AJC. Woodward Academy comes in at number five. Southwest Cab six. Stars Mill, seventh. Coffee in at eight. Griffin, nine. Dutch Town in at ten. Others in the poll. Eleven is Calhoun. Twelve veterans. Thirteen Cartersville. Fourteen Stockbridge. Fifteen Jones County. Sixteen St. Pius. Seventeen Decatur. Creekside comes in at nineteen or at 18, I'm sorry, 19 King and 20 Lithia Springs. But again, Wayne County, Yellow Jackets ranked fourth in the AJC's top 10 poll in 5A football. That's going to do it for latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Rock.